It is Jay Del Negro here, and sometimes I paint. And sometimes when I paint, I record my process of painting. This piece that I'm working on right now is called Hard to Contain Me. And it's based off a lyric that you'll hear later in the video. So I'll sit on the floor to draw or paint or whatever. I have a little bit of reserve space specifically for painting and or creating, but it's an easel. Sometimes I don't want to sit at an easel. Sometimes I want to sit at the table. A lot of times I just sit wherever I'm at. And right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting on the floor directly behind the space where I dedicate to paint. What I'm painting, or what I'm sketching out right now, is a photo for reference that I want to explore a different way to create for me. It's different because I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna put real effort into filling out a scene of it. And this is me sketching things out with a white colored pencil on type of a white chalk outline. The chalk outline might smear a bit, and that's why I'm going over with this white pencil. Up at the top there is where I have what I believe are my weakest points when being a creative. The eyebrows. I am not the greatest at eyebrows. I make them too dark. I've seen what people do for their eyebrows and I've tried to replicate it. It just doesn't work for me. But I'm going to try to make this portrait work for me. And generally speaking, that's how it works. I take photos and I paint them. It's kind of what happens here. And I know I'll never fully show my process because that's pretty involved and I'm just not always that involved. So this painting is Brother Husband and this is uh, mixed with Gesso. Uh, Gesso is the base. Um, a little bit of Cerulean Blue, a ton of Ultramarine Blue, and a ton of the uh, Rain Gray. I uh, called it Brother Husband because I was watching Seeking Brother Husband on TLC, and it is my new guilty pleasure of choice. The problem is I'm literally like blocking my own light. So we got to do something. $25, uh, I don't know, Ulanzi light source. Uh, probably lasts for a good 20 minutes. This isn't the light color I want, but it helps. It helps a little bit. Basic format for me painting. Find a photo for reference. Do an outline or a sketch. Fill it in with some light tones of color so I can figure out how I'm gonna build upon it. Add in layer after layer after layer after layer. Some of those layers you'll see. Enjoy, hopefully, what you have to see from me because this painting is hard to contain. One of my favorites so far.
right here, right now. It's one of the more funny looking stages. But when I was looking at this, I was certain like, oh yeah, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking the fire. Nothing's done quickly. At least nothing I enjoy is done quickly. So I've learned to be a little patient and add layers of thin colors to build up to show the contrast and tones and value in skin. So right now the blues are actually the areas where the darkest shadows would be. And the blacks are actually where the lightest areas would be in the face anyway. Editor Jay here, just checking in to give you some information about the stuff you didn't see. A couple layers of paint I've added to the skin, you didn't see, I didn't record it, made a mistake. The eyes, you didn't see me filling in with the color pencils or the markers or how I use the markers to add tone and shade to the lips. I threw everything that I had at this particular piece. And a lot of that I didn't record. You did see me previously use an ink marker to add depth and darker accents to the beard, I think that came out great. In the future, I'll work on adding things to show what I've done right here, right now. I didn't enjoy what we got going on. I'm gonna get back to editing. Same reason why your chickens on the knees filling the throat with more craze than weekends at Chuck E. Cheese. Just face it, I never nigga should rival this. You try, make your ass bleed like hematologist. It's hard to contain me, harder to detain me. Skin turning green, wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Before I was born, I was nice with a jaw. Wrote my first rhyme on my mom's uterus walls. Then once I started spitting, turned rappers into victims, breaking their shit up like a laxative of digestive systems. So recognize and realize I've ruled the truth. And you white niggas appear like the outer skin of fruit. Fuck it.